What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rhea and Fran giving you that Friday energy on a Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. This podcast is presented by Macy's. And right now, we want to highlight all of the small business owners thanks to Macy's. Macy's runs a incredible program for small business Mm -hmm. owners. So if you are a small business owner who is ready to take the next step towards growth, then apply now to the workshop at Macy's, the retail industry's longest running accelerator. The workshop at Macy's gives participants the opportunity to connect with industry experts and gain valuable tips, tools, and resources to help elevate your brand. So from now until November 30th, apply today for a spot in the workshop at Macy's class of 2025 at the workshop at Macy's Dot com. So if you're a small business owner out there and you're looking to take uh, maybe a step up or just looking for some advice, any of those things, speak to other people in the industry. The workshop at Macy's is a great opportunity. So once again, from now until November 30th, you can apply today for a spot in the workshop at Macy's class of 2025 at the workshop at Macy's dot com. There you have it, folks. There you have it. How we feeling today? Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. This week went super um, like slow and fast at the same time. Mm. But I think I've just been in like a daze. Yeah. You know when that happens? Mm-hmm. We're just like l- life's moving around you, but you're not moving much. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt. <laughs> Where I'm like, wow, it's Friday? Yeah. I've just, um, when you have so, like when your apartment is just in such a state of disarray you don't even know where to begin and Mm -hmm. half the time you just i just end up sitting on my couch watching tv and i'm looking at all of it i'm like i guess this is a tomorrow thing Mm -hmm. i feel (laughs) like i've been doing bits and bits and bits and pieces getting back to getting back to some normalcy here i'm excited to have a weekend in the city can't tell you the last time that happened probably pre-summer yeah that's (laughs) true I really think I really think like actually pre summer, um, so that'll be nice. Yeah, lovely, yeah, lovely little weekend in the city. I have a wedding tomorrow, Friday. Well, when you're listening to this, I'll have a wedding on Friday, and then yeah. chill weekend the rest of the the rest of the time. That's my, nice. My brother's wedding is around the corner. It is a um, couple weeks away, so that's very exciting. But yeah, pretty chill. We were supposed to travel this week. But then we didn't. Yeah. We kept saying we were traveling this week. We didn't end up. I, I canceled. Yeah. I pulled the plug on I pulled the plug on that hard. Yeah. I just um like I said, I I'm running on empty. Mm-hmm. Like I just the thought of getting on an airplane was debilitating. <laughs> so that happens. Yeah. I feel you. It yeah. happens. That's where that's where we were at. Right. That's but, where I was at me- mentally for yeah. sure. Hopefully this weekend will be a nice little yeah, recharge exactly. type of weekend heading into the new week. Um no, how, how was your birthday? How was your dinner? It was good. Uh had dinner with the whole family minus my sister. Um the whole fam. Yeah. The whole, the whole fam, fam. And yeah, no, like nothing crazy happened. Yeah. Pretty casual all around. <laughs> yeah. It was wow, pretty... we're a bunch of crazy motherfuckers, <laughs> yeah. aren't we? Yeah. Huh? Wild the, 29th We're getting crazy, crazy this week. Crazy week for the <laughs> crazy week for the crew. <laughs> crazy week for the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I did. I went to the the. Uh, I ate. Hot... I ate the Dor- Dorito. The f- I ate one full Doritos bag and the entire Nerds bag that night. <gasps> you deserve it, birthday <laughs> and boy. And I gave my brother the other one because I'm like I can't. Like I'll eat this <laughs> Take too, it so. away from me. You ate the whole bag of, I mean, a bag of chips goes like, like goes like that. Yeah, but like, it, it's a big that, one. It was a big no, one. No, I know, but they're not even all, all like they're not even all the way full. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, but I think I did the math in my head. That was like probably like over two thousand calories. Look, it was, your birthday. Of, it was a lot of chips. It was a lot of chips. It's a lot of chips. The gummy clusters. You just the start. gummy clusters. Oh that's like you take a handful of gummy clusters and you just can't stop. Yeah. You just pop them, pop them, pop them. Bag. That uh, I don't I know. I don't know how you do. Oh my god! You should have tried them when they were. Oh, the well, other you, day. You never had those? I never know his birthday gift. Okay. I, I would have been glad to. You know, I wasn't going to be like, hey, Noah, before you can have, before you take those home, <laughs> hand them over. Pop a sucker over. Um, I'll get you a bag, though, because yeah. before you told me to not get you a bag before your wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But please. now I can get now, you a bag. Yeah, yeah. I'll I, get you a bag. I never actually, like, connected the dots that they kind of, like, discontinued the nerd ropes to do this. 
They I discontinued saw, the ropes? Well, I think, or like, I don't know if it's fully discontinued, but it's like, I don't see those anymore. Everyone just eats the clusters now. But like, it was it was easier. a genius marketing yeah. move by the nerds. Let's yeah. give it to them. Um, sponsor us, nerds. Come on. Oh I'm, I'm nonstop talking about these damn gummy clusters. Yeah, I actually think that maybe I have some in my apartment. You Do need, they make them in smaller bags, yeah, too? But you need the berry yeah. berry. If it's the red pa- bag, but those just are good. pass oh, no, along. it was the blue one. The, the blue, blue one. one. Because um, for my birthday present... From Claire on my wedding day, she brought over a bag of all like blue labeled oh. candies. Not like the not necessarily the candy was yeah. blue, but like the wrapper mm-hmm. and packaging was blue. Something blue. Right. And there was like a little oh, that's so, so there was cute. like a bunch of little things that were blue. And I think there may have been a little bag in there. Yeah. Wait, yeah. why blue? Something blue. Something blue for your wedding. You know, it's something old, something new. Something, something borrowed, borrowed, something, something blue. blue. Oh, I've never heard that. Oh. Yeah, I so you learn something new every day. It's fair. I wouldn't ex- really. <laughs> yeah. It's something like an old, oh, okay. uh, like bridal tradition that on your wedding day mm. you have something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. You learn learn something new yeah. every yep. day. Yep, yep. Yeah, another. Well, I, I went to. Uh, I mentioned I was going uh, to that yeah. hot yoga class for the first time, and you're here was, to tell the tale. So. I, I'm, <laughs> I live to tell the tale. It was actually warm instead of hot mm. because I want I want to intro myself in. Um, What's the temp in there? I think it. I think warm is around like 80, 85, and then oh I think God. hot is like ninety five to one hundred. Yeah, hot um, is hot. I feel like is people hot. die in that. Hot is people do. Yeah, yeah people, people pass do pass out. out. Yeah. Um, so that's why I didn't want to, you know, go right into that. And I, I liked it. I was. It was. Um, it was warm yin yoga. So it's like you stay in one position for a long time, mm-hmm. which I, I really do like the relaxing, slow, slow part of that because it's quite a contrast from what I'm usually used to with working out, which is why I even went in the first place is because I'm looking for something like a yeah. bit just in between, just like a nice take your phone away, yeah. like time to just like, ah. Um, I liked it. I wasn't obsessed with it, but I booked another class for tonight with, okay. with a new instructor. So we'll see. I'm I'm testing, testing out the instructors. Right. And testing that's it, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I do find. Y- I don't want to be one and done. I want to. I want to try yeah. it again. I do find yoga to be one that is very like an ins- a good instructor. But like it can make or break your exactly. Experience. And she wasn't very peaceful to me. Yeah. Right. Like that's what you're looking <laughs> so for out of this. I, I wanted. Yeah. I was looking for yeah. like a Zen teacher. Mm-hmm. And she, is there music? She was. Yeah but like very calming music yeah. she wasn't giving me that yeah so it was like it was enjoyable because the lights were off it was candlelit but it wasn't like the full experience i was looking for and it's also trying to get yourself to slow down when you're so used to doing like fast-paced things or like intense workouts yeah it's a uh, it's like a battle because you're like kind of itching a little bit to move around which is why in the first place i'm doing it yeah um so I'm excited to try it again. We'll see. New instructor. Maybe she'll be a little bit more zen than the first one. The first one wasn't so zen. <laughs> I, I hate to break it to everybody. She wasn't so zen. Oh, I'm going to see. Oh, I feel like I'm going to see. Hold on. Oh, it's passing. Okay. You know, like when you get the tingle, there it goes. Mm-hmm. That's, I'm just thinking of when you get like the emails after going to a class. It's like, we would love your feedback on your experience <laughs> and you were just like comments like not zen enough a little need her to be a little bit more zen was looking for zen she wasn't giving zen well you know what i don't like when you go into a workout class and the instructor immediately brings up like what's going on in the world mm. and and you're like this is a bad start to the class yeah. like she like immediately at the beginning of the class she was like Let's all try to find some like peace if you can. You know, like it was right, more like right, a rather right, like right, rather right. than like you know. I'm like we're off to a yeah a hot start on this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no pun intended. Yeah, yeah no, literally. But I, I I like when an instructor comes in with like a positive attitude. Leave everything at the door. Focus on your workout. Like that's the kind of thing I like. Not too overly positive either, where they're like annoying. You know. Now I'm being picky, but. <laughs> You know what I mean. You really gotta. You're. You might. You might be going through a few instructors before you find the one. Perhaps. No. Here's the thing. With solid core, I, the instructor, I don't care. Like, yeah. the instructor doesn't matter. Well, I'm you, just. I, that's what I said. Fast it's fast paced. Yoga's different. They're, they're. You know, yelling the numbers out, positions. It's yeah. go go go. Like all the instructors are good. With yoga, I feel like you need like truly. Yeah. You know. 
Yeah, well, so they are they are taking you into that mental state that you are that you're trying to. Mm-hmm. I'm achieve. not trying to start the class off by you telling me that the world is horrible. Right. Like right. that is not where I where yeah. I want to begin. Yeah. Do you mingle with like the other people there, or do you just like go in, sit down? First class, no. Like first class at a new place, like a smile at some people. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. But no, so a lot of people I'm, don't want to be bothered. No. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You may like laugh about something that happens next year or whatever, like, but I think a lot of people go to a class to, for them, like to be alone, like yeah. for themselves, you know? Right. No, definitely. I really don't go to a lot of group. I've said it before. It's always given like, that's, mm-hmm. it's stress, stresses me out for these exact reasons. Yeah. I, I'm proud of myself because years ago I wouldn't have. Yeah. But once I started going to solid core, I got a lot less afraid of going yeah. to a class. Well, I, solid core is just like, I think it's really as tough, like, you know, but even it's tough as it gets. Yeah. So it's <laughs> like showing up to this one, I wasn't so nervous to show up to a class that I've never been to before. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, fuck it. Why not? Show up. Who cares? Maybe you get something out of it. Maybe you fucking hate it and you never go back. Right. Every, it was, it was always your, somebody's first time at some point. Right. Yep. So like you go through the motions of like, oh, what if I'm bad and someone makes fun of me? But it was all it had to have been their first time at some point in their life, too. Yeah. So totally. So we'll see. Well, I'll go again tonight. And if I fucking hate this instructor again, then maybe <laughs> then maybe warm or hot yoga just isn't for me. Maybe, you know, maybe we'll see. Um, all right. Let, are you going to warm again or hot? I'm going to warm again. Okay. Because I didn't love the first warm, so what am I just gonna dive right, dive right, right, in gonna just yeah to yeah, the hot, hot yoga yeah, again? Fair. Like I think I gotta first initially start liking the warm right. before I get right into the hot. Super fair. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm excited though. I like trying new things, so we'll see. Um, all right, let's get into the topics for today. Dark, obviously, very very um, sad sad news about Liam Payne. I think yep. the world was shocked by this news uh that happened wednesday night so we'll talk about that we're also going to do a tell me lies recap we're also going to be talking about the victoria's secret fashion show and brooks and gleb were officially sent home on dancing with the stars and we have a great game of trivia so let's get into the topics so the world was absolutely shocked shocked wednesday night when it was reported that liam payne had died mm. the news hit and i think people were just blown away people who grew up with one direction uh, people who have been hearing news about liam payne recently like this was just something that literally shook everybody to their core and the way that it happened um is also extremely shocking and traumatic as well he was in buenos aires and um it's unclear if he fell or if he jumped off his balcony on the third floor and ended up enduring um, injuries that could not be helped at that time. Yeah, it like full body chills when I like I got in the same text in multiple different group texts and everything like my phone just started ringing um and when i saw that i i just i mean i was just couldn't believe it it is so so incredibly tragic he was 31 years old so young um i think that there has been so much talk about him recently because like you said I think you know he has been in the news recently um and his he's had a a tumultuous relationship with his ex who has been vocal about her issues with him Maya Henry you know she had just released a book not too long ago and there was just there's just seemed to be a lot going on and I've seen a lot of girls try and navigate their emotions of what One Direction meant to them growing up and as a band and their love for the band and everything that came with that and how this journey through adulthood has has taken them in different directions. And Liam 
was clearly struggling. He was vocal about that. There were issues that he was having, substance abuse issues, mental health issues, a lot of things that he and his personal life was dealing with. Uh, and when that happens and then this is the outcome, it's just it's so incredibly tragic because you could see that he he was not well and he was not getting the help that he needed and that's probably for a plethora of reasons mm -hmm. um but at the end of the day he's a 31 year old guy who is leaving behind a really young son um which is really sad i think some mm -hmm. people kind of don't realize that he does yeah. have a have a young son um and that is so so sad and god it's just like it just breaks my heart because it's just from the details that we're getting and sometimes it feels like too much details right mm -hmm. like sometimes you're like wow i feel like this is really invasive should we even be listening to this hearing about this like on the night of his death there's also articles talking about the issues with the ex and all mm -hmm. these things and it's like whoa like let's just take a step back for a second the guy like he's he's dead like he just died right like it's and in and in such an awful awful way um and i mean i couldn't believe it because i opened and i know a lot of other people probably had this experience as well is that of course tmz is mm -hmm. breaking this news and when you open the tmz article and the first thing the first photo that showed up when you scrolled in the article was like zoomed in pictures mm -hmm. of his body that was what was supposedly photographed of him on the ground post falling right. and tmz wrote like oh oh we won't be posting the full photo but here's proof that like this is the tattoo on his arm mm -hmm. and this is the tattoo on his stomach and i i was like I like dropped my phone and was like what am what am I looking at why is yeah. this in here why is like holy shit this is disgusting like TMZ already like we know that that's the world they live in but when this happens again you're just and they got it was crazy because it seemed like they had obviously gotten a lot of shit for it mm -hmm. took it down and then when I had refreshed uh, uh, another time they re-added it and just put warning like trigger on the on a blurred photo but if you clicked on it it unblurred the photo and it was still there yeah and I then it was and then i think they took it down again i don't know but there's absolutely no reason that that needed to be included like tmz could have written which they then did again like we saw a photo and like that that was how we confirmed that yeah. it was him but it's just just did not need to be in that at all right i don't know why they felt that was necessary they've done things like this before which is extremely unnecessary i don't know what they're trying to prove like as soon as this was reported people believed that that's what happened why why would they believe this is not liam payne if every single news yeah. source is saying this is liam payne we do not need to see um his body on the ground and his family members his son no. do not need to see the photographs of him no, on the ground like sick. he has a young son that like now these photographs of him in the moment that he died are now online like yeah. it's it's absolutely sickening um the whole thing is e extremely tragic and i've seen lots of conversation about this because um y yeah as soon as he died there were a ton of articles about everything that's been in the news in the past couple of weeks and mm -hmm. it's like now you have people going after his ex and putting blame on her and other yeah. people and it's 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 just incredibly sad all around yeah. like somebody who had fortune and fame that once the band ended clearly struggled mm -hmm. struggled with himself struggled with how he acted towards other people like it was clear that he was struggling all around yeah and so the conversation of which you know people are mourning his death are a lot of people talking about their younger selves growing up with him yeah and being such a fan of him um when he was in one direction verse the person he then became and who we have known about in the past couple of years yeah um it's complicated people are having a lot of complicated feeling towards this um but i think 
plain and simple it's it's a tragedy mm -hmm. all around absolutely i think at the end of the day you know a uh, a uh, life was lost mm -hmm. and that is is so incredibly sad because there were just a lot so much leading up to this right like this is worst case scenario when you see what had been building and the conversations that were being had and the news stories that were coming out and um i like can't even fathom the emotions that his friends and family are going through and mm -hmm. e like even for maya like that is incredibly difficult to navigate you this is a like a, it was a very toxic relationship that they had had and and she had been more vocal about it mm -hmm. recently and and um now just processing what this is processing this moment him not being here that like it's just it, it's so like you said it's really there's it's so tragic and and there's so many feelings yeah, that must be going so on many because emotions with maya and even talking about it, it just feels like insensitive to even be talking about. But I know that this is the conversation that's going online. And so you yeah. have to talk about it. But um, with Maya, she was doing interviews. And in her interviews, she had said, like, his friends and himself, like, have said to her, like, if, if something happens to him, it's it's your fault. Yeah. And, like, the world's going to blame you. Um and and so i feel so bad for what she must be going through because it is not her fault no you know yeah of course and um she had every right to talk about what she was experiencing and the abuse that she went through yeah and unfortunately this is the outcome of what happened with liam but um it's not her fault and yeah. so i feel like the people that are attacking her and telling her it's her fault and her fault like I, I can't imagine what she's feeling right now. I can't imagine what his friends and family are feeling, uh, knowing that he was feeling this way as well. Um, there's so many complicated emotions surrounding it. Um, it's, it's absolutely. It's, it's incredibly sad all around. It's, yeah. it's so sad. And you grow up watching these people thinking, how could, they're 31 years old, like you're never, you don't feel like you're going to hear this news. And then you see someone you grew up watching or a fan of and you see this tragic news is incredibly sad yeah i just and you know he was just he had been in argentina with his girlfriend and she had left and gone back to florida a couple mm -hmm. days ago so like it's just another added element of i yeah. can't even begin to fathom what she must be right feeling as well of like she was just there and and left and he stayed and like what the like what emotions come with that and Twitter and of course everything's been flooded with with different stories and um you know there's been pictures floating around and it seems that the like La Nazio on the newspaper in Argentina has confirmed that some of these images are are real smashed in TV um things like that around mm -hmm. the hotel room there the, these 911 calls have been released of the hotel calling it's an uh, erratic hotel guest um and it just sounds like he was not in a good headspace at all and uh, was probably um, probably under the influence of a lot of different substances perhaps mm -hmm. and for this to be the way that that ends i mean it's it's like i don't know how many times i can say full body chills but it like sends a shiver down my spine when that in that 911 call that this hotel manager is like where they're he, they're in a room that has a balcony like we're mm -hmm. what, like that it's just it's haunting it really is. um and i it, it's just like it's really for somebody like and i and i know it it hits everybody in different ways and i understand like that connection to loving one direction and mm -hmm. and having that be such a a core part of growing up because I feel that way. I think my sister felt that way. Yeah. Like Gia was a just like massive, massive, massive One Direction fan. Um, and just seeing like social media, my For You page has just been all 
old One Direction clips. And mm-hmm. I saw one this morning that just like li- truly just broke my heart because it was a cut up. It was different cut up interviews of all of them individually talking about a One Direction reunion. Mm-hmm. And, you know, oh, I'll never say never and all these things. And it was Louis who was like, you know, I don't want to do it where it's like two of us go off and do a song together or something like has to it has to be all of us. Mm-hmm. And just kind of thinking like now that that's just, you know, it's just never going to happen. It's, it's so just, sad. I mean, it's awful. I my heart breaks for all of them and truly and, I mean like trying to process something like this is is right so hard it's and something sad. I'm sure they can't even like wrap their heads around happening and for his friends and family to see what he had been going through for the past couple of years and not being able to help and if anybody did try to help if he tried to help himself like yeah. there's so many you know thoughts and emotions that go into that when it's like clearly he was um really struggling so yeah the whole thing is is incredibly it's just really devastating incredibly sad really, um, really and, and really sad shocking very 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 shocking news yeah uh wednesday night Ugh. but you know i think that the details that are coming out like you said maybe a little bit too too much mi- like feels like we're seeing too much now it's a lot it's a lot with the hotel room pictures it's and a lot everything that's coming out it's painting um painting the picture yeah very very clearly for a lot of people um which is you know very hard yeah, it's so really hard um yeah there's no easy way to move on move on from the topic no. but no. uh just incredibly no. sad news my heart breaks for his family and yeah. friends his, and his, his, son, his son like yeah Oh God, yeah. I can't even imagine his yeah. young son and like everything being online. Like, oh yeah. God. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna move along. Yeah. Although, not easy way to move along. It's but terrible. we're gonna move along. Did you know women were excluded from clinical research policy by federal law until 1993? Women belong in scientific research. They're essential. Ritual knows they conducted a university-led human clinical trial for their essential for women 18-plus multivitamin to assess its efficacy. The results? It increased vitamin D levels by 43% and omega-3 DHA levels by 41% in just 12 weeks. I love the Ritual Essential for Women 18-plus multivitamin. I take mine every day. I always try and be diligent about it because it is so easy when you just have to take two capsules Every day, super convenient, making sure I'm getting everything that I need. So Ritual's Essential for Women is USP verified, so you know you can trust what you're putting in your body. Only about 1% of supplement brands on the market have the USP verified mark, which shows the product contains the ingredients actually listed on the label. Ritual is a female-founded B Corp, meaning they are holding themselves accountable to not just their company's financial health, but also the health of people and our planet. So no more shady business. Ritual's Essential for Women 18 Plus is a multivitamin you can actually trust. Get 25% off your first month at ritual.com slash chicks. Start Ritual or add Essential for Women 18 Plus to your subscription today. That's ritual.com slash chicks for 25% off. We're going to talk about the Tell Me Lies finale because that aired on Wednesday. And I think by now people have watched it. If you haven't watched it, then skip along because you don't want to spoil it for yourself because it was crazy but i think people just like they can't wait so i think by now most people would have watched it but the tell me lies finale was insane this show right now one of the best shows this yeah this finale was was a finale you know what i mean no don't be afraid grab your mic i know you got things to say about it no, I'm just smiling because I'm like, yeah, that's. I, it, I was like, you know, I literally what? said, I'm like, during this, I outwardly, out loud, was like, oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, every, oh my god, basically every three minutes, I was doing that too. <laughs> and you know when Harry Styles did the interview for "Don't Worry, Darling," he was like, this movie feels <laughs> yeah. like a movie, feels like a movie, yeah. This finale felt like a finale. Yeah, it was boom, 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 boom. When uh, my first oh no was when she got back, when Lucy got back into bed with Leo 
I went, oh, oh, no. Oh, I, I think I went, oh, ew. <laughs> it was, oh, ew. Girl didn't even change her thong. Like, Lucy, Ugh. you dirty, sick little, mm, yeah. fill in the blank. Yeah. Dirty. Yeah. That's plain old dirty, nasty work yeah. from Lucy right there. No, really, to not even really fucking is. take a shower yeah. and change your fucking thong. You just have sex with your evil manipulator fucking terrible ex-boyfriend yep. and then just jump along to your other ex-boyfriend <laughs> within an hour? Yeah. Like this wasn't even like it wasn't even like it was the same week. Straight to it his, was straight to his room. Legitimately within the same hour? Yeah. Like what the fuck? When he I was like, "Oh my god. This is disgusting." Like truly disgusting. It was foul. Poor Leo. It was foul. Poor Leo. Yeah, I that know. And shit. And then it ended with Leo being the one who felt the worst because he, he just beat the shit out of this guy. And he's like, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. It's like, it was all fucking Lucy's fault. Yeah. It, I mean, that shit yeah, was like, fucking- Get out. Like, what are you, what are so you why doing? Why would you oh. do that? It's like- yeah, What do you mean, why did you do that? You sicko. You sicko, you didn't even change your fucking panties, Lucy. Like, did she change them before she went to the party? They're all because she's a, also. How about Steven taking the chance on that? The fact that she was wearing the same underwear. Oh yeah, like the fact that he even and, and, knew and, and, she honestly, was so dirty, she wouldn't change like, her underwear immediately. Like memorized the details of like everything she was wearing. And you know what? They did show it. Like they did. Yeah, they yeah, did yeah. make sure to it, show yeah, they did. her underwear. Fucking nasty. Yeah. Like, that's the only way to describe that shit was nasty. And then he, him with like his totally beat up face. Well, let me tell and you. He has like, he, the, he, he smites like slightly like smirked when he was on the ground. Lucy's going to get a, a yeast infection, a UTI. Like, she's going to get an STD. STD. Yeah. Like, she's out of control. Forget about that. Yeah. Girls got to go get some shit checked out after mm. that whole situation that went down right there um so we had that that fiasco and then marianne marianne knew the whole time her and oliver have an open relationship and now yeah. i'd like to read an exchange exchange between me and somebody over dm yesterday a lovely listener messaged me and said ria you spoiled tell me lies i would have been shocked that marianne knew yeah i didn't spoil anything it was a theory yeah you were yeah i was just guessing mm -hmm. And I wrote, I didn't know Marianne knew it was a theory. And now you spoiled it for me. Yeah. Because <laughs> I haven't watched, I wrote, and now I guess you're saying she does, but I haven't watched the finale yet. Yeah, so yeah. now you spoiled it for me. Yep. Yep. So you thought I spo spoiled it for you, but now you spoiled it for me. Yeah. I'll spoil back and forth. I will say as far as like predictability goes, that was probably the one that everyone may saw coming the most, I feel like. Mm. Is that like something else was going on there with that, with that dynamic like him being like oh we have an open marriage was like that was the least shocking part of this for me that was the least shocking part of this finale because i just felt like he he, he grosses me out it was it's more of like the other lines that were said in the episode like marianne saying to lucy like oh, i'm glad he didn't meet you first oh, i was like yeah. who's that's your husband girl like Maybe you maybe you don't want to be in open in an open relationship. Also, these are students. Yeah, yeah, these are students. Also, when Lucy walked away and was like fucking pervert freak, I was yeah. like, okay, Lucy, good on you, but we're still you're still crazy. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, I think that Marianne very much does not want an open relationship by just the fact that she was crying when talking to Brie. And then when she kept saying to Brie, like, I've been in your shoes before, what I feel like she was insinuating was that maybe, because we know Oliver was married before and his wife died, maybe Oliver had cheated on his wife with Marianne. Mm. And that's why Marianne was saying, like, I've been in your position before. And we also don't know how Oliver's first wife died. Right. So maybe Marianne is just abiding by Oliver's Do rules of an open relationship. I feel like because she's scared of him. I feel like they're an older version of Stephen and Lucy. Yes, that yeah, that could yeah. be true. That Oliver, Stephen, Marianne's Lucy. But you see what I'm saying? Like we don't know how that wife died. So maybe Marianne is afraid of Oliver and not abiding by his open mm. relationship rules. 
and kept saying like and kept saying to Brie like you live you live with it you learn how to deal with it right and so like I feel like Marianne was basically insinuating that like she was the mistress in the first relationship with Oliver and his wife they then got together and Oliver then cheated on Marianne but instead of leaving Marianne stayed and then they decided to have an open relationship yeah like nothing is off the table at this point with this with this show you never know and we also don't know who's still trying to contact Brie um at in the future and the at the at her wedding um apparently I, I saw something that said the show owner said that it's not Oliver I think it's Steven calling her my theory is Steven and Brie end up hooking up at some point because if you look back on the voice memo that Steven sends Brie about Evan and Lucy sleeping together and Lucy was the one that Evan cheated with from years prior. He sent that voice memo. They have a text thread already. And the text thread is Bree and Steven exchanging when the rehearsal dinner time is going to be. Why would Steven be asking Bree when the rehearsal dinner is? Why wouldn't Steven be asking Evan, one of his best friends, the details of the wedding? That's a very, that's a very... Like you're really ta- you're really paying attention. To- I I didn't even notice that at I'm, all. I I read theories online. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm you know it's the finale, so I'm talking no, seeing I what just people wouldn't are saying. Even, but that would not have even crossed my mind I, once. I, I don't. Think, I don't think so. I don't buy into that. Well, it could be the reason why Steven's not at the wedding and he's sending voice memos to Bree. And why would oh, Bree- I think the reason Steven's not at the wedding is because he knows he's about to drop this bomb yeah. on Bree. Yeah. But <laughs> also, but why would Bree be answering Steven's messages right before she's about to walk down yeah, the aisle? Yeah. No, I mean, like I think- there's something going on there for her to be right. like, why would, why would well, she there's listen some, to like, a voice memo from Steven right before she's about to walk down yeah, the aisle? Yeah, I mean, some of this show is not like extremely thought out you know i think sometimes like sometimes i feel like people online like are take it to like another level where it's not like as they're giving the show more credit yeah yeah (laughs) yeah but i I think like i i just think like to think i think they just needed like they needed brie to pick up her phone for this for the you you know if you're you're probably not on your phone i don't know how it is before like right before your wedding but if you got like a text from someone you haven't talked to in forever who's like friends with a lot of the people that are there like and it's a voice memo it's like I'll, i was i would click it yeah yeah like, i'd be like i mean what i think he it just, me? he knows i'm getting married right i just now. think in that moment like she in order for the moment to happen like she had to, you know she had yeah to it uh, well i'm just thinking that the that it could be a possibility because steven does find out that evan slept with Lucy so knowing Steven and how diabolical he is you don't think that he would at least try to sleep with Brie in some capacity or do something to but, to blackmail Brie he has that camera where Brie um had all the pictures of that- no I I'm just throwing out theories that he has that picture those pictures of Brie her camera has those pictures of Oliver maybe he finds out it's Oliver and is blackmailing her with that yeah that he, that he knows he has the pictures of Oliver he's gonna tell Evan when he that- said like when he's like, you're not going to ruin my life, right? And he goes, not today. Yeah, it's right. Like, oh, okay. Right. Like, I thought that was like, like, yeah. that, like that felt like it won't be today, but it yeah. will be but on the most important day of your life. That's like how big of a psychopath he is. Yeah. He was like, I'm going to save this recording for like yeah. 10 years from now. Like in my <laughs> mind, he's already known that he had his revenge. Like his, re- like he just, he's such a crazy person that like he has, he had the revenge in his back pocket and he was just what, like, he was like, I will pull this out. He was like, I'll sleep well at night because I know I'll have this. And then the day when you finally think your life is good, that's when I'm gonna. That's gonna when I'm gonna destroy it. Yeah. Because yeah. That's, that's like. The way what would have he happened works. if they didn't end up? If like they broke up a few years later and didn't get married, he would have just like. Yeah. That would have been for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't like that's. It's just. That, was. That was crazy. The whole the whole finale. Who do you think that Bree is more mad at when she hears that message, uh, Lucy or Evan? Evan. When she hears like that, when she hears the the recording. Oh, Lucy. Lucy. I feel like, like I think you're like. Yeah. Yes, there is an element to obviously the person that you're with, mm-hmm. but like, Evan. Did. Like Evan tried to 
come clean at a certain point. Obviously, he didn't say it was Lucy, but like Lucy just faked everything yeah. through every oh, yeah. every Consoler. time she was crying about it, every time she was upset about it, every time she was trying to make her way through it. Like Lucy was the one she went to, mm-hmm. and Lucy was the one that he slept yeah. with. Yeah, you know, yeah. like I just think it. Like you're like, holy shit, this is supposed to be my. This is my best friend. Right, right, right. This is my like. Yeah, this is my best. Totally. Friend. Yeah, I think yeah, probably Lucy, but also probably Evan. But then also Lucy kept the secret of Oliver for her yeah. as well. Yeah. So there's it'll so be, many elements. Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see what happens with that with that whole dynamic because everyone was saying like, wow, like Brie being more upset about. Oliver being like in an open relationship than basically like break like, like she was just the way she processed that whole thing like clearly was yeah she was acting like them being in an open relationship was like a crime yeah whereas yeah. like actually right she was mad he, if, she, he wasn't if cheating you were Brie you would think like oh I'm relieved I, I wasn't breaking up yeah. your marriage, but right. she was like mad that she wasn't breaking up their marriage. Yeah, yeah. you know, instead yeah. of being like, "Whoa, what a relief!" Yeah, <laughs> like, right. Yeah, I could see her point of view from that. Marianne he, knew everything about her. Right. Yeah, and that and part of she it. She didn't know anything. Mm-hmm. She didn't know anything, and he pr- like, and he pretended that. Yeah. They were sneaking around and yeah. they really weren't. Like, they yeah, just, they, right. She and like, yeah. I could have just been coming to your house. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Like, it, it was probably very disorienting. So yeah. I understand how she felt really icky and upset by the whole thing. But it was kind of like, at some point, like, you got to feel some relief that, yeah. like, you weren't breaking up a marriage. Yeah. You, right. <laughs> you would think. And then, like, you just want to get the fuck out of there. But, You're like, oh, you guys are fucking weird. So, like, I'm getting out of I this. I know. I'm so, I'm just, like, so curious as to what all is going down if i saw some people thinking maybe marianne is the one calling her that like now marianne is like writing her like her books coming out and or she f- was writing her book and she's like telling parts of her life and like exposing brie like in the i don't know there's like, weird like there's just a lot of having obviously. an open marriage is one thing but that doesn't mean you have to sleep with 19 year olds when you're 45. Like, right. Like, and it she, almost is sounded Mary like Ann sleeping with students or is it just, he's like, oh, right. It's, and it, it yeah, also, they, they shouldn't be teachers. No, okay. neither of them shouldn't be. It in almost school. sounded too like it was like every semester. Maybe there's somebody yeah. like the way she's like, glad, he, glad he didn't see you first. It's like, Oh, every first day of the school years, he plucking a new 19 yeah, year old, like they're, they're from his class. They're a and gross of couple. Cor- like, of course he's Evan's professor. Like that's, mm-hmm. you know, something there's so much more that is going to unfold there i feel like um they're a sick and twisted couple they Very really sick and twisted. they, they really should not are. be allowed to teach at the school they really are um they shouldn't be teachers uh, uh, poor, poor wrigley Ugh. oh my god i forgot I mean, about like, that some real like things real couldn't go. get any worse for wrigley that that happened that actually like was good information for me i'm like i never even knew that was a thing like the time release yeah, like, not that I, I ever would have. Right, that, it's just like, it's that was. Yeah, I was confused was by tough. that too. I had to look it up. I time was like, release. "What do you mean you can't?" Because yeah. it's like time supposed release. to slowly. Like, yeah, but yeah. then if you if you but apparently just like, I looked it up, it's start taking. I if you ha- if you break it in half, apparently just, all the medicine yeah. goes into one. So mm. it's like or something. It all I don't just, know. Like, it goes into your system at the same time. Yeah, of slowly. Yeah, very right. very confused. Oh my god! When they woke up on the couch and he was like, and that Drew was actually I went. I, that was that was my other. Oh no! I was like, oh no, he's. Yeah. I was like, I feel like this is bad. Also, like yeah. when Stephen, when they, uh, Lucy was about to tell, and then he was like made up that whole lie. Yeah, just like continues to manipulate. Right, everyone. it's just like, another way to keep. <laughs> himself safe he just makes yeah. me so wildly uncomfortable i hate him so much but oh, what about the uh um what's uh what's pippa it? diana diana oh diana yeah. diana, diana is 10 steps ahead smooth criminal girl she's, she's 10 steps ahead of everybody else that's she why is. she's a, she's smart she is and thank god that was that was her way of getting out of mm-hmm. that like despite even though like that whole conversation, I mean, he is, but like, he really is such a great actor, I will say. Mm-hmm. Like, he really is. Where, like, in that conversation where he went to go break up with Diana and he was like, like, this it's breaking my heart. Like, I'm so sad. And she's like, stop faking it. And he was just like, 
It's just like the switch flipped. Right, and then all of a sudden he's, like, he's okay. just evil. He's I just feel like evil. Yeah. Is, is he's going to find out eventually that like she lied about not like getting But I think like I don't know, but in my mind it's like for her I felt like maybe she she felt like she was trapped with him mm-hmm. and there was no way out and the only way was like either like he's going to break up with her or if she makes herself not desirable to him like he'll leave. Yeah. And that's like what you know, that's what she was doing. She's probably like I don't want to I don't want my life tied to him where like my my life my money my school is all attached to him being mm-hmm. there yeah it was smart. definitely very smart. smart by her she's definitely the smartest character on the show that's for sure yeah and then when it comes to wrigley it's like well the loss of his brother is tragic and then the girl he loves does I know. not and love him was back another one at the wedding when he was like i guess i should let go of this 10 year 10 year crush and i was like oh yeah it's time it's time Poor wrigley. Wrigley. <laughs> tough go for wrigley him and pippa listening back to that voicemail of him so happy Ugh. he's like i love you so much drew's here like oh my sad. god it was so we sad. need like wrigley pippa pippa and diana to just like run off together and like they could be a couple pippa and diana yeah. could be a couple and then like they could just have wrigley live with them you know <laughs> <laughs> and it's like ah okay we have like the good the you know the ones with the, the good souls yeah in one house and know all these evil evil people in another like they're just just it's just endless with this group there's no character development they they are <laughs> just getting bad worse. they you're telling me from 2008 to 2015 they're lucy is fucking steven again at the yeah, wedding yeah 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 and max is like what the hell are these texts and then she's like fuck it i'm gonna fuck steven yeah. again yep. and you know what when steven said you're embarrassing to lucy she is yeah and steven's the fucking worst but lucy does not help herself whatsoever. But I also feel like that was just another thing in Steven's grand plan, yeah. right? It's like he sent that text to be like, I want to see you. He's like, all right, I'm going to go sleep with Lucy just because I can, mm-hmm. just because this is one part of my revenge plan. And then I'll send the, yeah. And then I'll send the voice recording and he, I won't show up to the wedding. He hates Lucy so much. He, yeah. he literally hate fucks her. Like he's like, th- that's what it is. It's like pure hate. Yeah, that he then channels into like I'm gonna ruin her life. I can't believe Ever Lydia since- got f- so m- into all this. Like, sorry, you have a bad brother. Yeah, there's gonna be more that there has from to be this. more. Yeah, I mean it's very clear that Stephen just tries to get back at Lucy and then right be- for sleeping with Evan and then just is like, oh well, I'll go for her best friend. Evan's right. my best friend. I'll go for her best friend. Or in 20, I mean, in 2015, they're engaged. Right, he's I really mean, stuck with it. Is anyone ever gonna know that he? Like was driving the car, like that. He no, I, I feel like no. <laughs> like that's just never gonna. No, come I, out. I, yeah. I feel like that's like part of the show where it's just certain, certain like the lies are just gonna be told to to like the truth just never. For yeah, some people, at this point, they're all implicated if if they bring it up. Like Lucy yeah, well, he just and for- and he will just lie to save his ass time and time again. Like even him lying about the like writing the note was still his way of like saving himself. Oh yeah. You know, because then he's such a narcissist that he's like, Wrigley will forgive me. Yeah. Bad, bad people. Great finale. Yeah. Seriously. It was a really good finale. A really good finale. But now we have to wait. It's always the waiting game. But I'm glad that we got that good of a finale. Yes. Same. So I feel like at least maybe things will move, turn around, it'll be quicker. Yeah. For Hopefully. This, for this next season. Because we did have to deal with like the writer's strike and all those things. Like mm-hmm. feel like delayed stuff. So maybe... This will be a be a quicker turnaround, but wow, what a what a show, what a finale, what a season, seriously, what a show, my god. When you're in need of some chill this fall, there are so many great options. Fall festival prices giving you sticker shock. Host a fall party with neighbors and Coors Light. Don't get caught up in the fall chaos. Savor the season. Choose chill and reach for a Coors Light. When you embrace a chill mindset this fall, it's a good time to choose Coors Light and crack open a cold Coors Light because it's mountain cold refreshment, crisp and refreshing as the Colorado Rockies. So when you're headed into the weekends, fall, it's beautiful, fall sunshine, you got your fall plans going on, just make sure you have a Coors Light with you. Whether you're out and about running errands, maybe you're headed to the store to pick up some pumpkins to decorate your apartment or your home. You get home, you get cozy on the couch, crack open a Coors Light, and then 
Maybe you're headed to the bar. You got some plans. You're going to watch some football. You're cracking open a Coors Light at the bar. So fall feels good when you choose chill and reach for a Coors Light. Get Coors Light delivered straight to your door with Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com slash chicks. And always celebrate responsibly from Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Moving on to the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. I just have one thing to say. You're going to put Adriana Lima and Candace in a slick back ponytail. Mm. Not a bouncy blowout for the return of the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. There I'm was, sick. There was barely zero, any bouncy blowouts. Not a bouncy blowout in sight. Yeah. I'm sick about it. I, Where are the bouncy blowout? The slick. Listen, when you have that beautiful of a face, uh -huh. you can pull off any any hairdo. Of course. Of course. Slick back. Where's the volume? The bouncy blowout. The bombshell blowout. Yeah. Where is it? It would have been the proper homage to the to the previous fashion shows. Um, I was like, I enjoyed it, but I felt like they were operating at like seventy five percent, and they were just missing that last twenty five percent to like really put it over the top. I felt like it was more like 65%. Yeah. The wings were lackluster. Yeah. The music the was lackluster. I thought lackluster. the costumes weren't as like, they couldn't really, I don't know. Where's the costumes the, didn't wow me. Where's the jeweled bra? Yeah. Like, where's the fantasy bra? Right. Where, where is it all? There was, obviously there were some elements and changes that they made that it was like, yes, this is so much better. It was more inclusive, mm -hmm. body inclusivity, seeing new faces new people it's not just the 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 adriana limas of the world mm -hmm. um and they took steps in forward in that direction but it was like well let's have those women get their moment in the show where i felt like they didn't as much um so i wanted like i kind of wish that that was elevated a little bit more but yeah just it was honestly production value i think like it I, just felt like the production value was like not not that high where we were like wowed by by what we were seeing and the performances were good mm -hmm. but it's always that situation where like they're lip syncing it happens every all, the, that's always the victoria's secret fashion show like i mean you're, you got you got fucking share like mm -hmm. i just felt like you have share, like give me a big budget production. Right. It didn't feel big budget. It was missing the vavoom. Yeah. That is usually the Victoria's Secret fashion show. It didn't have that aspect. Yeah. In my opinion, it felt like a low budget uh, production all around. Yeah. I, I felt like even down to the costumes, like not even just the stage presentation and all that, but like the costumes as well. I felt like Gigi Hadid opening the show was a choice that wasn't the right choice. I mean, mm, really? I think Gigi Hadid is awesome. Yeah. But when you're talking Victoria's Secret fashion show, how are you not having... Yeah. You didn't like the Hadid sandwich? Well, I mean, <laughs> Bella Hadid is just chef's kiss. Like, yeah. Bella Hadid is... And so is Gigi. But Vavoom is having Candace open up that show. Mm. Adriana open up that show. Alessandra opening up that show. Yeah. One of the OG angels... Being yeah. like, boom, we're back. Right. Gigi Hadid wasn't an like an OG Victoria's Secret angel. Yeah. Yeah. That she Gigi Hadid is not who I think of when I think Victoria's Secret OG angel days. Although was, amazing model, gorgeous, yeah. stunning, the Hadids, yeah. Bella Hadid, I thought she looked fucking incredible. They all, they did all the models. Look it just, didn't give all me all the, the models. Look stunning. If Candace started, it's like people have been have been resurfacing this clip when Justin Timberlake performed and it was sexy back and Giselle walks out and it's like I'm bringing sexy back boom Giselle walks out hair flowing in the wind dead serious face right down the run day like yeah. runway that is yeah. the Victoria's Secret fashion show this right didn't have that no I I I, I think I, I think you're right that they made all the right steps in the change that they had to change yeah you know making it more inclusive all sh you know all sizes mm -hmm. but the vavoom yeah no definitely uh, and you know they they did bring out um 
you know, some OGs, some like original supermodels that they, they had uh, Kate Moss as well. Mm -hmm. Tyra Banks yep. closed the show. Um, I think Kate Moss's daughter walked the show mm -hmm. as well. She did. Uh, and of course, like, and then there were some missing people, but I saw, you know, there's uh, maybe some people have some exclusivity things or scheduling, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. You know, Kendall Jenner, Giselle, like yeah. all those. Tyra Banks she knows how to walk yeah she does like tyra banks is the vavoom yeah you know yep yep but yep 100 percent. no i i do agree like i was like give me and even the first wings that candace came out with i was like what the heck are those things i mean a, a ton of them had just yeah. like wings that look like they were yeah just you could pick up from party city right and throw on your back for right. a halloween costume right and I was also like, give some wings to the new girls. I know that there's like a, I don't know, maybe there's some sort of hierarchy. Well, that's that what it, that was always the case that yeah. the, the OGs had the wings because they were the, quote unquote, the right, angels. Right, right, and right. then the newer girls don't have wings because they're not the angels yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel like that can, that can go. You think all wings are no, nothing? No, not, not all wings, but I just feel like. If you're gonna, but then if, if you're, you're gonna, gonna give some the new, then you have to give all new. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like if you're gonna do like a new a new show that you want to be like showcasing all people and and like to just have the supermodels have the wings and everybody like I don't know. I just mm -hmm. like maybe change that up a little. Well, then bit. I think everyone has to have a wing. Yeah, you can't give in that case. Then you can't right. give some people wings and not like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. you're a newcomer, you get a yeah. wing, but you're a newcomer and you don't get a wing. Yeah, like, yeah. Then you either have to do all or nothing. Right. Because it does. Which I wouldn't be opposed to either. I mean, yeah. I feel like you're. It's an accomplishment enough to even make the make the show. Yeah. Get your you wings know? and to be fly cast down. in the show. It's like you get cast in the show, you get your wings. Mm hmm. But yeah, yeah, that was. It was lackluster to me. I wasn't like, oh my God, right. it's back. Like I saw a lot of people freaking out. Oh my God, it's back. I was like, it didn't it didn't have that effect on me. Yeah, and and I like exactly like it I enjoyed it. Like I said, I was like I I enjoyed watching it. I thought like it was it was cute, but I was just like not it wasn't uh I feel like like you said, it could have had that extra oomph. Mm-hmm. And it just didn't have it. That's didn't fun. have it. It lacked it. Yep. It lacked the oomph this year. Um, we'll see if they continue to do it and then maybe they'll add a little bit more oomph yeah. to the next ones. Um, last topic. Sorry, last comment. I don't like when they do it in the big warehouses like that mm. or what like looks like a big warehouse. Just feel like they need, like it takes away from it a little bit. It makes it look like just a very like um just a fashion a normal right. fashion show rather than like right. if it's always secret fashion show you think like stage yeah like it needs like it needs it needs more yeah yeah uh, last topic Brooks Nader and Gleb were sent home from Dancing with the Stars yep that's the end for Brooks and Gleb um I for one was surprised like, I look I have been catching up but. I have not watched like all the episodes and everything. Like I'm jumping back into it now. I've obviously missed the last couple of weeks, and I think I was unaware of the online conversation <laughs> about Brooks and Glem, um, and that what they were selling, the people weren't buying, and I think a lot of people thought it was like too much. They weren't into it. I for, I was when she got eliminated. I was shocked. I was like, "Oh my god, what?" And then like I went to Twitter to see what everybody was saying, and they, like they were cheering, like mm -hmm. "Ah, we they we did it, we got them." And I was like, "Wait, what?" Like, but they're good. They're not like I really don't think that they were deserving of being sent home in the in the dance aspect, mm -hmm. but obviously in the popularity contest of it all, they they it wasn't rubbing people the right way, I guess. Yeah, I, my take on it is that I think that they were improving each week. I think Brooks was getting better with her dancing each week. So if we're just talking based off dancing, I yeah. thought that she was improving. When it comes to them online, I'm not buying a single thing that they're selling anymore. Like I, at first I was like, ooh, hot, spicy. Like, will they, won't they? Like, yeah. I, you know, like I love a will they, won't they? Ooh, two hot hot people together like are they gonna get together and then it went from like zero to 100 so fast yeah, that i was yeah. like i'm not buying this like 
every time they kiss on camera, it looks so fake to me. Like they're when they posted a TikTok after they got eliminated and it was like a win's a win. And then like Gleb grabs Brooke's face and, and like, and it, everyone was commenting like, oh my God, such a hot kiss. And like, that is not the feeling it gave me whatsoever. Like mm. I wasn't like, oh, that's a hot kiss. It, I was like, oh, they're really confusing me and I'm not buying this relationship. Actually, any percentage. I don't buy it at all. I don't really know if there's anything to buy. Like, well, I think they're trying to be like, I don't think that they're really in a relationship and I don't think they're going to continue dating. That's right. what I'm saying. Like, I think they're selling that this, this relationship they're in now. And he was like, I love you, baby, when they got eliminated. And I was like, I love you, baby. Like, the, no, no, I don't buy this. I yeah. don't I don't buy that they're actually dating. I don't know. I and it's tough because I like it's tough because I, I really love Brooks. So it's just like. I can see it in a world where you are so wrapped up. Like, you're just with this person 24-7. And they are, whether, you know, I mean, obviously, it's like the everything that they're hooking up, doing, whatever. <laughs> where you, it's like, I feel like it's almost like you're on The Bachelor, you know? Like, I, you're I, like in your own world where you're like, oh my God, I we love each other. This is so great. And then maybe in two weeks after they're like not with each other every day, they're <laughs> like, they're, they might be like, mm, you know. That maybe that maybe it's not like as intense as it was yeah. when we were together. But I feel like when they were really with each other all the time, like it was, it was like that. Even just from what like their sisters were posting of being like at rehearsal and like filming the two of them mm -hmm. and like th seeing like their stories and stuff, I was like, okay, this is their. I mean, they're cozy for sure. Yeah, but I just feel like it was an act. Like, I think that they were really, really hamming it up yeah. for the camera yeah. and for the I sake of the show. I people were talking about, like, uh, her reaction when their name was said. Like, because mm -hmm. it was clear that they were, like, not expecting to be. Yeah. Yeah. Glad I mean, was like, why would you think that you're, I mean, I wouldn't think I was getting sent home either. Yeah. Oh, I would always go into it thinking I'm getting sent home. No. I would go into every elimination I thinking think that I'm was getting sent home. I think that feeding into of, like, they were maybe a little cocky. Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I think when you're on a competition show, you need to go into every elimination thinking you're getting sent home. I, yeah, I suppose. You never know, you know? Yeah, you definitely never know. But I think if you're like, I think it's tough. Like when you get, like when you, when you're all, when you're not like at the bottom of the leaderboard, you get positive feedback from the judges. Like that's going to make you feel like you're maybe in a, in a safer position mm -hmm. um, than than what they were in but and yeah. people were not happy when she posted that tiktok and she wrote if only gene simmons was a judge tonight and it was like her and all her sisters oh i didn't see that. and it was like Ooh. yeah i under like i i Ooh. i got the joke she was trying to make there but you know you're like ah yeah nah, not the time not the time but um yeah it's like yeah i, I also i think it really did not help them that derek and his wife Haley had this like super emotional dance um her time back in the ballroom after she had a really really traumatic oh, brain injury God, it was just um and like there's not a dry eye in the house no. and then they went right into brooks and gleb and it's you know daisy dukes and and studded bras and like everyone was like "Ooh, this is it was like too it was too much of a jump i think yeah and and the way the way people's like the way people already were thinking about them it didn't help like it just gave it was just fuel to the fire of the commenters of like this is like shallow and blah 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 yeah so yeah i mean i think like they were having fun and and yeah. there's nothing wrong with them having fun together and and i totally believe you can fall into a, a relationship on that show like you're spending 24 7 together i just am not i think they really really yeah. hammed it up for the camera i think that's fair i also think a lot of that lands on gleb like, I feel like like Gleb, Gleb did Harry Jowsey's podcast and was like, oh, you know, Brooks is so good with the TikToks and the posting and all this stuff. But I'm like, every young, like, part, like Gleb gets these partners and it's always sexualized. Like, oh, mm -hmm. you know, like, the, and the partners that he has that aren't potential partners for him, it's like they don't, they don't last long in the show or people aren't talking about them, mm -hmm. you know? So I feel like he feeds into that. And then, like, his choreography shows it, his root the routine shows it, like, what they're doing off camera show it, where it's like he's just so used to selling this kind of with his partners also that you're like, 
oh, you could have you could have spun this around a little bit and not, you know, because it's uh, he's the one coming up with the choreography. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. A source is saying that they're they're still seeing each other after. <laughs> I mean, they're still by they're yeah. it's together. They're po- like they're still. Yeah you know posting from the from the same places but they will be spending time together and not rehearsing and are excited to be living life without having such a rigorous rehearsal schedule yeah, yeah well I mean, they that's, also that's what's like that's what's gonna happen but that's exactly what i was saying before they could spend two weeks where they're just hanging out in la and they're like oh so now what do we do that we're not dancing <laughs> but i also <laughs> think they have so they're getting so much attention online that they're gonna like stick to it because of the attention online too yeah like i i don't know why like i'm getting just very phony like very phony from this like i i really phony yeah. but yeah, yeah, that's the name of the game with the internet, I guess, when you're on a show and then you're trying to sell it and you're trying to have people vote for you. Yeah. And like, you know, it's the name of the game in, in their eyes. But Right, right, yeah. I mean, Brooks has been living her single life post-divorce mm-hmm. and there's, it's like, you know, it was, it was the Prince of Greece or one of those countries. <laughs> um, and then it was Tom Brady. That was a rumor. Mm-hmm. And now here we are, so... You know, yeah. it's just she's she's having fun. I can't mm-hmm. blame her. Yeah, why not? Um, all right, that wraps up the topics for today. Chicks listeners, we know that you guys like us because we keep it real. But you know what else is real? Rum Haven made with real coconut water. This fall, we'll be hitting the road with our favorite Caribbean rum with real coconut water to be sure to tag along. If you want to win without facing it off with us, enter our sweepstakes for your chance to win a trip to Boston for our holiday spectacular or co-branded merch. You can enter now. Enter the Rum Haven Chicks in the Office sweepstakes at rumhaven.com slash chicks in the office slash enter now. Once again, enter the Rum Haven Chicks in the Office sweepstakes at rumhaven.com slash chicks in the office slash enter now all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another game of beat re and fran this is game number 146 and we are joined by brendan and kelly and their cutie little dog knuckles who is there for good luck <laughs> welcome to the show guys Hello. thanks for having us we're excited <laughs> well we're excited nothing brightens our day more than one getting to play trivia and also getting to look at cute dogs. Cute little dogs. <laughs> yeah. So although I <laughs> wish I was holding him. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's yeah, kinda makes you jealous. Yeah. Um, okay guys, we'll jump right into it. It is fifteen questions. If you get the question right, you get the point. If you get it wrong, the other team can steal the point. Whoever has the most points at the end wins to determine who goes first. No one's gonna give us a movie. We're gonna guess the Rotten Tomatoes critic score of that movie. And whoever is the closest, you will go first. We each get our own individual guess. So, Noah, what is today's movie? Today's movie is Coraline. Oh, Ooh, Halloween so- season. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so one of you guys throw out a guess first. It's a Tim Burton movie, so I feel like it'd be pretty popular. I'm going to do 80. Okay, Rhea. I'm going to go 98. Whew. Ooh. <laughs> I'll go 65. I'm going to say 72. Rhea's the closest, 91. Wow. <laughs> Coraline. Yeah. Okay, yeah, question number one. I don't think I've ever seen Coraline. Neither have I. All I, those movies scare me. I, I, can't. I don't really love Tim Burton movies. Tim Burton movies scare the shit out of me. Insane. That one's really creepy. It is creepy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Beetlejuice is I'm, one of the scariest movies. I'm trying movies. to think. Edward Scissorhands. All I loved Edward. I've that, talked that's about that. That's my scariest I movie I fucking ever. loved Edward Scissorhands yeah, as a yeah. kid. Which is bizarre. That one scared me too. <laughs> that one's terrifying. That one scared me yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, question number one to Rian Fran. Shout out Lacey from Little Rock, Arkansas. In She's the Man, when Viola is trying out for the boys' soccer team as Sebastian, the coach announces a shirt for a skin scrimmage. What excuse does Viola give as to why she needs to be a shirt? She's, She's allergic, allergic to, to the, the sun. sun. Final, Final answer. answer. Right. Go Sebastian. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Allergic to the sun. <laughs> okay, question number two. It's one nothing re and Fran. This is to Kelly and Brendan. Shout out Jackie from Al Albor Albemarle, North Carolina. Ooh, okay. I, I, I don't I know e- I don't out. know either. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh in succession, what do Tom and Greg nickname themselves? Do you want this? I 
I've never seen it. I know, so it's gonna be no help. <laughs> Are they brothers? No, they're not brothers. Oh. <laughs> they work together. I I don't know. Yeah. Well, here we go. <laughs> We're gonna. That's not. Um, it's the disgusting, disgusting brothers. brothers. Oh, yeah, there's, finally, it's there. correct. <laughs> Not even close. You had the brothers part. Yeah, they, yeah. I was like, are they brothers? But they're not brothers. But, but they, yeah. you are correct. They are not brothers. Yes. <laughs> okay, two nothing. Re and Fran. This is to them. Shadow Eileen from Long Island. On Friends, when Monica and Chandler were trying to keep their relationship a secret, what was the chore they would pretend they were doing when they were secretly meeting up? Laundry. Oh, <laughs> Laundry. Correct. Yeah, sometimes the luck of the draw with the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was really messed up for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're happy to be here. <laughs> just say, right? We're only three yeah. questions in. Yeah. Come on, okay. bring it on, Knuckles. Yeah, we're, yeah. <laughs> we're only knuckles, three questions only in. Yeah. Okay, three nothing, Rian friends to Kelly and Brendan. Shout out Zoe from Iowa. In this crossover episode of New Girl, Jess's car got... Commandeered is what? Commandeered. Commandeered. <laughs> Commandeered. Is that like a really like? Should I cut that? No, no. <laughs> uh, by a police officer. <laughs> on, the, on a level of one uh, yeah, to ten. On a level of one <laughs> to Raleigh. <laughs> no, no, that's you're fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> Commandeered by a police officer in New York while getting Schmidt soup. What show was this cross up episode with? Crossover episode. Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yeah. Final answer. Yeah. Correct. Yay! <laughs> yep. Okay, three one, Rian Fran. And this question is to them. Shout out Lexi and Sarah from Austin, Texas. In the movie Stick It, why does Haley quit gymnastics? Oh fuck. What happens? Shh, it's her uh, um her parents. Parents, right? Her mom with the her mom starts dating the coach. Yeah, yeah. Yes, her mom yeah. starts dating her the coach. Her mom starts dating the yeah. coach. Yep. Finally. Yeah. Yep. Correct. All right. Three. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> the game is beat Rian France. Yeah. <laughs> Four one. <laughs> All right, question number six, and this is to Kelly and Brendan. Shout out Katie from Philly. In Desperate Housewives, what is the name of the street all the women live on? Um Great question. Never seen it. So, don't oh. know. <laughs> yep. Do you know? Got to guess? You got nothing? Um, we can guess something. Never seen an episode. No. I Desperate Street? <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad guess. But incorrect. <laughs> All right. Uh, Wisteria Lane. Uh, yeah. Final. Wisteria yes. Lane. Correct. I've also actually never seen Desperate I've never seen it. But I I'm a big that. Desperate Housewives yeah. fan. <laughs> okay. 5-1. Still no questions missed. Question number seven in the story and franchise of Kelly from Tucson, Arizona. In season two of Claim to Fame, which celebrity was the winner related to? Shoot. Was this last, was this season season two or was it season three? I don't know. I've never watched Claim to Fame. Oh, man. 15 seconds. Well, who go through the winners? Do you know who no, won? No, I, yeah, I'm Kiki Palmer's. Five seconds. was the first season. I just can't remember the second season. Time is up. I got nothing. Okay. To Kelly and Brendan. We just watched this. Do you remember? It was... was it the country singer? I know. No, he didn't win. It... Just re- try to remember who was on it and I can see if you can guess it. I'm not, I can't, I'm blanking on his name. He's, uh, he sings an, like, guest sings on all those Lonely Island songs. Oh, yes. Oh, was he on the, the was he in the 10 concert? seconds. No. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna, no, we, I don't got it. Three Sorry, seconds. guys, we don't know. Oh, no, it's Nick okay. Cannon. Nick Cannon. Okay, that, was his that was his younger brother. Right, right. that was season three. Yes, yes. Season right. three was Michael Bolton. That's who you guys were thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one I just yeah. watched as well. I couldn't remember the yeah. second season. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the passion was there. Yeah, yeah. The Even I was there. like, come on, guys, you got this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we got one so far, so that's yeah. 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 I mean, right. <laughs> collectively, we've only missed one. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Team <laughs> Still 5 1, Rian Fran. This is question number eight uh, to Kelly and Brendan. Shout out Zoe from Iowa. 
What actress is in all three of these movies? Monsters University, Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates, Dirty Grandpa. Um, Anna Kendrick? Anna Kendrick. Monsters University. Mm, what was the last, the other one? Dirty Grandpa. So it could oh. also be, uh, 15. She's on the, the new Wanda movie. What the, what's her name? Oh, um, Aubrey Plaza. Let's yeah, go Aubrey, Aubrey Plaza. Plaza. Final answer. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I don't remember it being Anna Kendrick. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> When you said Anna, Ke- Anna Kendrick, I was like, no. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh, I was like, like yes, they well, got the wrong well, one. Well, right. No, I was well, like I was half rooting for you, half <laughs> not. Yeah. <laughs> okay, five two, Ran Fran. This question is to them. Shout out Kelly from Atlanta and Marita from Nashville. I just like you guys' energy, so I'm like rooting for you, even though. <laughs> oh, thank like, you. I think it's like, I'm knuckles. like, <laughs> yeah, I think it's knuckles. <laughs> from you, it's knuckles. <laughs> Being really cute. <laughs> yes. Okay, what five words come comes after this line from Macklemore's song Downtown? I went to the moped store, said fuck it, salesman's like. Something for a bucket, buck it, something for a, isn't I'm gonna it? Go no, no, it's not, it's a no, different part. A different song. Say it, no, you just same song. I went to the moped store, said like, fuck it, salesman's like. Well, I'm gonna bug it. It's like, da 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 da. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no 15 idea. 15 seconds. Just rhymes with fuck it, that's where, you know. <laughs> How about a bucket? Five seconds. Yeah, no, I have no idea. <laughs> I got about nothing. Nothing. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Kelly Brennan. Do you know anything about this? <laughs> I've heard the song for sure, but that's kind of where I'm at. It's like it rhymes with fuck it, and I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, I don't know it at all, so <laughs> we're not going to know it. Yeah, so. same one. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. You do this, you make jingles all the time. Nothing. <laughs> Tell me one. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay, it's I went to the moped store, said fuck it. Salesman's like, what's up? What's your budget? Budget. Let me tell budget. you something. Yeah. That right there is the perfect example you had the of jingle. words that I, like how <laughs> I, in, like I just have the wrong words. You had the melody though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did, but I thought it was bucket, not budget. That's exactly what's. Yeah. <laughs> we are so excited to tell you guys about Roback's women's line. It is so cute, so comfortable, and we are just obsessed between their active dresses, shorts, and full zip up hoodies. We always wear them when we are on the go, out and about, on a walk, whatever it is. So let me tell you about Roback's new active shorts. They are ultra lightweight. They include a liner for extra comfort and they are super cute. You can wear them to play pickleball, go for a run, just be out and about outside running some errands. The Roback active skorts and dresses are perfect for any activity. The material is super comfortable and the features are so functional. The built-in shorts liner has hidden pockets that can fit your phone and the dress has their brand new GTG technology so you can keep the dress on while you're on the go and got to go. Roback also released full zip hoodies and new workout tanks so it's safe to say we will be living in Roback this season. So use code CHICKS on Roback.com for a generous 20% off your first order of performance squirts, joggers, and hoodies. That's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K dot com. That's 20% off with the code CHICKS. Okay, question number 10, and this is to Kelly and Brendan. I'm going to play a movie clip, and you tell me what movie it's from. You're not supposed to do that. (gasps) What? Who are you? She saw you. That girl. I think my hand touched hers. Yes, that's all it takes. She carry you now for the rest of her life. You're not supposed to look back. You're supposed to keep going. Hey, come back. Wait. Who are you? I'm Holly. She said, did you say her name was Holly? Which is like giving like parent trap. I've never heard of this in my life. So it sounds like kind of like a scary movie or something. It's the spirit of Halloween. Yep, 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 Noah's yeah. in the Halloween era right now. Um, we're going to go with um, Parent Trap, even though I don't think that's right. Incorrect. It's really yeah. Incorrect. It's the Lovely Bones. Oh, okay, oh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the Lovely Bones. Firelands. Yeah. Correct. 
Wow, never seen it. Mm-hmm. That was good. It had like creepy. It, vibes. Yeah, it was. definitely felt creepy. Mm-hmm. Felt like she was like in a field. Well, this is when she's not. She's not alive. Oh, there we so, go. That's yeah. okay. Like, Honestly, ghost, the like, touch yeah. the background noise of that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it is six two. Rian Fran. This question is to them. Shout out Zoe from Iowa again. Three couples got engaged on season seven of Bachelor in Paradise, which aired in 2021. Only one of them has since broken up. Who are they? I don't, I don't. Season seven, 2021, that was- Oh, it was, was that- it was Joe and Serena. It was, yeah, it was Joe and Serena. Okay. Who got, else got engaged on that season? Um, Mari and Kenny. 15 seconds. Yeah. Kenny and Mari, Joe and Serena, and five seconds. <laughs> no, it's three got it. So He's saying that he's saying one of them's oh, no longer oh, together. Yeah. Time is oh, up. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know because the third one. To Kelly and Brendan. Okay. Well, just based off of that, I feel like you can, I can just think. Um, okay. Kenny and Mari and Joe and Serena. And then let's see who else is on that season. Um, let's see. It wasn't Dylan and Hannah. Um, you wouldn't. You like watch. I did watch. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Mm. Seconds. I feel like Spongebob when like he's like shuffling through the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Riley and Marissa. Remember? Mm, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yep. Yep. That's the right season. What? The season. Yeah, no, you had the other two couples. Joe and Serena and Kenny and Mari still together. Yeah. Mm. Riley so. and Marissa, yeah. Okay. That hurts your, your overall team score. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> six to Rian and Fran, and this question is to Kelly and Brendan. Shout out Kelly from Atlanta, Marita from Nashville again. In Harry Potter, what class does Min- Minerva McGonagall teach? <laughs> I should, as we watched it literally today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Sure, go potions. Potions. <laughs> potions. In- incorrect. <laughs> Tra- Transfiguration. Final answer. Final answer. Correct. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not potions. That was not what was happening in her class. <laughs> Seven two. Rian Fran. Question number thirteen to them. Shout out Taylor from Arlington, Virginia. In Grey's Anatomy Season 7, Episode 6, Alex treats a patient who listens to one song titled Wouldn't Change a Thing on repeat the whole episode. What two popular artists sing the song? Wouldn't change a thing. I got no clue. <laughs> it's so bad that <laughs> I can't think of anything but the song from Camp Rock, which is <laughs> not it. <laughs> but all that's playing in my head is, but I wouldn't change Five seconds. a thing. That's not the name of the song. Uh, Time is I got. An, I don't have a guess. Okay, to Brendan Kelly. Okay, let's just think of two people that would sing a song together, really. We can just come up with something. Mm-hmm. Do you know two people that would sing a song? <laughs> yeah, I think I do, but it's not kind of like how <laughs> wouldn't change the things what it's called. Yeah, it's like a country singer. Or like it was like a pop star that would like sing it with someone. Five seconds. Five seconds. No, I got nothing. There's literally nothing in my head. My brain is <laughs> time is <empty>. time. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> It is the Camp Sorry, Rock song. Oh, oh what? It's Jonas god. Brothers and Demi Lovato. Wow. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow, I just didn't think that that would be it. Damn. <laughs> Damn, you're like Damn. Venus and Mars. Oh my god. Because it was a kid. The patient was a, a kid, I think. So. <laughs> I can't stay mad at you for anything. Yeah. Damn. Wow. Wow. That's <laughs> wow. crazy. Wow. You know what? I will say, once it moved over, I was like, maybe, it maybe was. we should have just said that. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Damn. <laughs> That's uh, all I can hear in my head. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, what is. <laughs> Damn, that stinks. 
All right, 7-2, Rian Fran. Got two questions left. Question number 14, and this is to Kelly and Brendan. Shout out Hallie from Clemson. In Wizards of Waverly Place, what store that is a parody of a real store was having a crazy 10-minute sale? Is is it the name of the store? The the name of the store. Oh. Um... It's not my day. Today's not my day for answering trivia questions. That is okay. <laughs> I, I haven't seen the show. Yeah. So, yeah. I can just think, think of, of like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's, you have to apologize. I don't know this. Three I have no idea. I have Nothing. no idea. Suburban Outfitters. Oh, oh that's clever! That is <laughs> right. Clever. That yep. yep. Oh, I would have gone with that. I would have never <laughs> guessed that. No. All right. Final question to Rian and Fran. Oh, no. Shout out Mackenzie from Milwaukee. L- th- this one might be a little confusing. Just oh, okay. <laughs> Kristen Bell, <laughs> Kristen Bell, and William Baldwin play detectives on a fictional show together in the movie Forgetting Sarah Marshall. They also both have mutual credits in a show in real life. What show is it? So it's. They're basically another way of saying it is, they're they, also they've also they been in the same show in, a, in, in another a, show to in a another, real life show a real life show. Is it Veronica Mars? Fifteen seconds. I don't know another yeah. show that Kristen Bell has been yeah. in. Yeah. Um, I don't know any shows. That, no, Gossip Girl. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Is that he? Is he in William Ball? Isn't he? Uh, is that Three doesn't seconds. he play the? Uncle, and he dad? said credit, so let's Time go. Yeah, yeah, Gossip Girl, Girl, final answer. Correct. Because nice. she's the voice. Yeah, because it's credits, not yeah, 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 yeah uh-huh. voice. Dang. Wow. <laughs> All right. Final score is 8 2, Rian Fran. Wow. A Yay! Of, a lot of correct. Oh my God! Thank Thanks, you guys. Scott. Thanks guys. Oh, I appreciate the clap. It did feel like a good, it did feel like a good game on our part. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thanks guys. Yeah. And we uh, had so much fun. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, and thanks Knuckles for you know being there for moral support for both yeah. teams. Yes. Yes. Um, I was gonna say you yeah. handled that very well. Very well. Thank you guys so much for playing, and <laughs> we are you. gonna send you guys some merch. So awesome. if you get a chance, send Noah your address and sizes, and we'll get you guys some merch sent your Amazing. way. It was so nice meeting you guys. Thank, Thank you so you guys. much. Thank you, guys. Yeah. 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 Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right, that wraps up today's episode of Chicks in the Office. Thank you so much for watching and listening. We hope you have a fantastic weekend. We love you so very much, and we'll talk to you on Monday. 